Bowling Green this weekend. Uh, you know the rivalry pretty well, yeah. going back to the CCHA day and then you know all that. Um, what does it mean to the players? What does it mean to you to play an in-state rival? Well, I, I mean, I think it's fantastic. I think we've had a. Uh... We've had some really good series with these guys over the years, and uh, they're well coached. And our guys look forward to it. And we know what's on the line. We know we got to be at our best. I see it every week, and it's no different. And um, you know, it's kind of with them coming in on Friday, and then us going back up there on Saturday. I think it's great for for both buildings. It's great for both programs. So we really look forward to it. How do you pass on that tradition to you? Got 15 newcomers to the team this year. A lot of them may not know about the rivalry. They're going to learn in a hurry, um, you know, when the puck drops. I mean, I think we've talked about it enough this week that uh, we got to be on our toes and, and uh, you know, we've had some good practices, but it's everything we're doing during the week. And, and again, we've mentioned to our guys, we do have a lot of new guys, but they're going to learn in a hurry what it takes to go out there and compete against a really good hockey team like Bowling Green. You ended before the break with a shootout win over Minnesota, come back with a win over Mercer Hurst. How do you continue that momentum? You know, our habits and our practice and our detail. And I mean, you know, I mean, it becomes infectious. Like, you know, the guys were excited about coming back and we had a great crowd here uh, against Mercyhurst and, and uh, we got the result we wanted. Uh, we're a long way from a final product, but uh, we just got to continue to push and keep getting better. You mentioned the crowd, you had a great crowd the other night. Uh, what expected? Do they need to bring it on Friday night for you? Yeah, we'd love to see uh, you know another big crowd here again. And, and again, there's probably going to be quite a few fans uh, for Bowling Green here, but I think that's what makes it fun. And um, you know, our guys, as soon as you step on the ice, our guys can feel that. So um, we're hoping to get uh, students back here soon enough. But uh, the building was, was jumping, and I think it'll be the same this weekend. How will these last two non-conference games affect your, your goalie rotation? It's been a while, a few years before you've had two goalies competing for the starting job. Yeah, you know what? And I like all three of our guys, uh, you know, and obviously Ebbs got in there the last couple games. We'll see how it goes and, and what direction we go for Friday and probably one game at a time right now. It's Bowling Green this weekend, an in-state rival. What does that mean to you? You know, it's exciting. They're, uh, they're always exciting games. It's fun to go, you know, play there, obviously, and it's always a packed house, so it's a good environment, and obviously we love playing in front of our fans here, and it's, uh, it's a meaningful game. You know, it's a rivalry game, and you know, we don't take it lightly. Any difference playing a home-and-home -home like that Friday night here, Saturday there? Uh, I don't think there's much difference in preparation. I think, you know, guys can adjust. It's more of a, a junior feel, I would say. It's nothing that we haven't done before. Yeah. And just... Uh, the crowd the other night against Murphy Hurst, very good, big crowd. What are you expecting this weekend for on Friday night? Yeah, that was awesome to see. You know, hopefully more of the same. The crowd was, you know, electric, and it, it feeds into us. You know, we feed off of it, and hopefully we can even get a bigger crowd uh, this weekend. As one of the veterans, have you been talking to some of the – you got 15 new guys on the team. Talk to them about the rivalry, what Bowling Green means to Ohio State. Yeah, you know, I think we take it, you know, game by game, week by week, and I think just obviously going through practice and stuff like that, you can tell that, you know, everything's picking up, and uh, it's an, like I said, it's an exciting week, and you just kind of you feel it on the ice in practice right now. How can you build on the momentum of not only the game against Mercyhurst, but the game against Minnesota as well? Yeah, you know, like I said, same thing. We kind of take it game by game, and you know, this, we expect a different second half here. And I think the, you know, like you said, the Minnesota game and uh, this past Mercyhurst game, you know, I think we're really turning a corner and we're starting to gel. And I think that'll show for the rest of the second half. What was it like going down the Nationwide Arena and seeing a couple former teammates playing for the Bruins? It's awesome. You know, uh, Georgie and Mason, you know, they're just two guys that you just can't help but, you know, be happy for them and watch them succeed and, you know, hope that they have great long careers in, uh, in the NHL. They're great, you know, talented players, are even better people and even better teammates. Were you watching them as much as were you watching the Bruins, one of the best teams, actually now the best team in the NHL right now? Were you watching what they were doing as well? Of course. You know, obviously, uh, you know, I think everyone's eyes were on, you know, Georgie and Mace, but at the same time, it's, it's fun to get out there and watch some of the, you know, the NHL's best, you know. So it's, it's always a good experience. Did you get a chance to talk to those two the day before? I know they came on campus. Yeah, I got the chance to hang out with them a little bit. We went and grabbed coffee, a few of us, and, uh, you know, it's kind of like we just didn't, you know, miss a beat and just picked up where we left off. Playing against an in-state rival in Bowling Green this weekend, what does that series mean to you? Yeah, it's always a great series. I mean, they do a pretty good job of packing their rink, so the atmosphere is great, and it's always good to play within the state of Ohio. It's nice and close, which is nice. Not, not a lot of travel. Yeah, and uh, do some of the newer guys on the team understand what the rivalry means? I don't. I don't think they do quite yet, but they'll they'll figure it out soon enough once we once we walk into their barn, and it's always it's always 
super loud there and super fun to play at. With the intensity you expect in the series, is this maybe a good way to start to get back into the Big Ten Conference the week after that? Yeah, absolutely. I think it's a great way to start the second half, even with Mercerhurst last week and then Bowling Green this week. I think it, it'll just build up and get us ready for Notre Dame. Is that who we have next? Yeah, Notre Dame. Yeah, and uh, this Talos' team coming off of Minnesota before the break and then Mercyhurst. How's this team now feel like it's turning things around? Yeah, I mean, I wish we could have kept building off of Minnesota because we, I think we played good hockey that weekend. You know, we didn't squeeze out as many points as we thought we could have. I thought or we played more of a full game for all three periods that weekend. And what's going to be the key to the second half of the season having success? I think just doing the little things, you know, uh, we've been dialing in on systems a little bit more this week in practice. So once we figure those out, I think it'll turn around for us. Uh, get to see some former teammates play for the Bruins. What was that like? Yeah, that was awesome. Uh, haven't seen haven't seen Mason a few months now, and I mean I've known him for years, and it's good to spend the day with him. He had an off day the day before, so we hung out with him all day long. And just going down to Nationwide Arena is a little bit surreal seeing the guys that you played with, like you said, down there on the ice. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's kind of funny seeing the way that Mason plays there versus how he played here a little bit. He's a little bit more controlled, but. <laughs> But yeah, it's awesome to see them out there. I'm, I'm super happy for them that they get to live out their dream. But yeah. And what's that say about the high state program that they've got two guys you know, playing for the Bruins right now and other guys in the NHL as well? Yeah, I think it just shows like how Ohio State can truly develop players and make them have the best chance to succeed and reach their goals.